Hi everyone, it's Fiona Edgar, astrologer here. So this is the video that I promised to make for all signs about Saturn's transit through Pisces. Now, you would probably need to watch my other video first. I will link to it below, and that will explain exactly what Saturn in Pisces means. But basically, Saturn is the planet of structure, karma, uh, responsibility, elderly people, and his position in the birth chart shows where we need to work a little bit harder. So all of the signs are going to be experiencing a new area of their lives where they actually have to work harder, be more disciplined, put a bit more effort in and to kind of watch what they're doing in that area. So I'm just going to get right into it. For Aries, the Saturn in Pisces is transiting your 12th house. The 12th house is about your sleep. Um, It's also about old issues from the past maybe ancestral issues that are kind of keeping you back uh so you could be feeling a little bit isolated with this transit as well the 12th house is also about your blind spot the stuff that you do that isn't very good for you so you will have to work on that uh because in two and a half years saturn is going to be on your uh in your first house and you could experience some kind of karmic repercussions. So pay a close eye to what you're doing through this transit. Uh, it's also about your spiritual life and the kind of spiritual activities that you do. Because the 12th house is where spirits belong. The gods, ancestors, uh, any kind of spirit that does not have a physical body is ruled by the 12th house. So you could be getting very serious about some kind of spiritual routine. Now, the 12th house is also about uh, <laughs> prisons and hospitals. It doesn't mean that you're going to end up in hospital or prison, but some of you might be spending more time in a hospital or a prison uh, temporarily through this transit. So on to Taurus, Taurus, the Saturn in Pisces is transiting your 11th house. The 11th house is about your groups, friends, people that you choose to hang out with. So there could be an ending here. Saturn is the planet of endings. And there may be some, a break in a friendship or you decide to move on. Now, the existing friendships that you do have, you will be very serious about those. And you will not be satisfied with any friendship that is not uh, built upon something kind of moral and very solid. So you will be acting as the Saturn amongst your groups of friends. It also could mean that maybe there is some karma there between you and some friends that you kind of have to work out. Uh, you could become a leader within a group or a, an association during this transit. So on to Gemini. Uh, the Saturn in transit is Saturn in Pisces is transiting through your tenth house, and this is the house of your job, your career, your public reputation. So Saturn moving through here is actually a good thing because Saturn Saturn's benefits are long lasting. You can become a master or a teacher with Saturn in the 10th house. You are the boss. You are finally taking Saturnian control over your career, which is only a good thing. Now, it could involve endings of old stuff that you used to do, an old job. Uh, so that in itself is being cut away because it's not really the right place for you. So Saturn in your 10th house is going to make you uh, have more control over your work life in general. Now, if you're avoiding leaving a place that is not good for you, Saturn will end it or it will make your life very difficult here. So it can also mean that you have a heavy workload and you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. So on to Cancer, Saturn in Pisces is transiting through your ninth house. 
you're becoming very serious about your beliefs. So you're more Saturnian within your beliefs. You could become more traditional as Saturn is a planet that is connected to tradition. So there's not going to be any airy fairy stuff going on. Uh, you're not going to be uh, dabbling within the new age or anything like that. It's going to be very serious traditional stuff only. And you will be growing a bigger backbone when it comes to your political beliefs and any kind of beliefs that you have. Uh, the ninth house is also about foreign countries and foreign people. So this is going to become more solid and more real for you. Perhaps there is going to be a move or perhaps there are some challenges that come up uh, that prevent you from going as quickly as you would like. The ninth house is also about law and the legal system. So you could have something to deal with during this transit. So for Leo and Leo rising people, Saturn is transiting through your eighth house. This is the house of death and transformation. Now, it's also about joint intimacy. If you're in a partnership, you may see maybe on and off over the next couple of years, the intimacy between you seems to be lacking. It can be cold. It can also be a bit of a dry spot in your sex life. There could also be a death of someone that you have to deal with, or it could, can be a metaphorical death of yourself. But Saturn in the eighth house is a bit of a difficult transit. You're going to be challenged in some way, uh, and it will cause you to grow and become more serious. Try not to worry. It sounds bad, but <clears throat> if you follow if you follow Saturn's lessons, everything is going to be fine. Uh, so Virgo and um, Virgo rising, Saturn is transiting through your seventh house. This can be a time where you become very serious and committed about a relationship that you're in. It is a time when people get married or engaged. So it's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Uh, you will be looking for something serious. You're going to be tired of any kind of dating or uh, superficial relationships. Only something serious is going to is going to fulfill you at this time. It is a time when you can meet the person that you will marry. So it's a good transit. Now, if you're in a relationship and it's not going well and you feel kind of dissatisfied, it is also a time when you might experience a breakup because this person is not really supposed to be on your path. So for Libra, the Saturn transit is happening in your sixth house. This is a time when you need to look after your health. So you need to get serious about your health here as you could experience some issues. Issues with your teeth, issues with your bones, uh, oxalates. All of those are things that you would need to look into. Your work life can be and your daily routine can be a little bit of a drag during this transit through the sixth house. However, if you work your ass off and you put everything that you can into your work, when Saturn leaves your sixth house, you are going to ex experience some rewards. So you may not see them immediately. Saturn is about time and effort that you put into and we get the rewards later. For Scorpio people, the Saturn transit is happening in your fifth house. You're going to be very serious about romance. You're going to be serious about flirtations. If you've been a bit of a flirt or a, a playboy or a playgirl before, you could be in a relationship now where you have got rid of all of that behavior because you want to be with this person. It can also be a time when you have another child or your first child. And you're very serious about that. Saturn is the archetype of the grandfather. So you will be feeling more mature uh, when it comes to children and romances. Now, it is a time when you may experience a lack of fun. But you are so committed to, to romances and to children at this time and maybe creating something very solid that it does not matter about that. For Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius sun, Saturn is transiting your fourth house. 
this is a time when you may move, you may become dissatisfied where you are living, uh, your current living, your current current home. You could find it challenging in some way. There may be an ending there. You may be very dissatisfied. I would be careful about mold or any damp conditions in your home. A Saturn is in a water sign. There also may be some changes within your family or with, within your own ancestry. Maybe you discover something about your ancestry uh, and you start to become very serious about your home. You could buy a home that you want to live in for the rest of your life. Maybe you're renting somewhere right now and your goal is to buy a place that you will die in and you want to live there for the next 50 years. Highly likely that you will get that during this transit or you at least will be looking for that. For Capricorn, the Saturn transit is in your third house. This is your siblings. There could be issues or endings to do with siblings. Karma is coming. It could also be maybe some problems within your neighborhood. So there can be an ending to do with a, a car also, you know, over the next two, two and a half years. You may get a new vehicle. But the karmic issues with your siblings must be resolved to the best of your abilities. You must, must try your best during this time to resolve things. You must be the Saturn. If they are abusive to you or if they are not treating you well, you could decide to sever ties with siblings during this time. It does happen. For Aquarius and Aquarius rising, Saturn is transiting your second house. You're getting serious with your money and your finances. It's a great time for you to focus on a job where you're getting financially rewarded. You are going to put more effort into saving money, more discipline. When Saturn was transiting your first house for the last two and a half years, you could have been through some Saturnian issues. There was an ending. Perhaps you were struggling with money uh, and perhaps you changed your life entirely. So now the focus is switching to your finances. You have to save for a rainy day. You have to pay your credit cards off. You have to stop blowing your money on superficial, uh, trivial kind of things. Perhaps you were more wealthy in years gone by with this transit in your second house. Maybe the money is not flowing so easily as it was before. So you will have to be more Saturnian, more planning and so on. So for Pisces, this is happening in your first house. This is the house of yourself, your identity, your physical body. You have to be serious in every aspect of your life over the next couple of years. It also is a highly karmic time for you. So you could have some things happen that are a result of past actions that you took. Now, this can be good or bad. This will feel positive or negative, depending on the way that you were acting for the last several years. Now, you should watch your physical body, especially your bones and your teeth and your feet. And be careful about fungal infections because the first house is about your physical body. And Saturn here can cause in particular dental issues. So that's really it. That's my analysis. I know that this sounds very harsh and grim, but Saturn is a planet that is connected to hard work and discipline. And if you toe the line and if you play everything above board in your life and you act in a moral way, then Saturn rewards you. Okay, so that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this video and if it resonates for you. And I will be back again soon.